Hi, I'm Jeff from Absolute Sheet Metal. Today we're going to show you how to put a firewall in a 40 to 47 Ford pickup. First thing you're going to do is get your kit and you're going to find a firewall and two lower extensions and a brace and this is for the dash, a support brace that goes in the dash later. First thing you're going to do, I'd suggest is read your instructions a couple times, get familiar with it. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to take your firewall and you're going to take a, a wire brush or a wire wheel and you're going to clean up all of the spot wheels for you. You're going all down here, all down here, or you can use a wire wheel, whichever you want to do. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to take a center punch and you're going to center punch the spot welds. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to take a drill or a spot weld cutter and you're going to drill out your your spot welds. Okay, we've already done this to speed up the time for this video. So we've already speeded up for that's to show you what you're supposed to do. Next thing you're going to do is now you've got all them done. Down here there's the lower legs. There's a spot on here where I marked it. And that's where you're going to cut. And that's where you're going to leave this brace in. On this particular vehicle we're doing, Richard chose to take them out because he needs to do some repair at the bottom. So we're just going to leave them off. You'll see it in the video. Okay, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to take out your old firewall. So this might take you a little bit of hammer and going to get it out of there. So I'm going to take this out now. We set up the time for you. Okay, you're going to remove your old firewall. Underneath here, this is where the dash brace goes. In the instructions, it will show you what to do with that. We're not going to show you that at this time. Okay. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to put the new firewall in. Hi. Right. So now we're back at the firewall. Now we got the old firewall out and we're ready to put the new one in. But before you put your new one in, you're going to make sure there's no burrs or, or the obstructions up in here. And then you're going to take a hammer and dolly and you should dolly this all out. Get it nice and straight. It'll make your firewall go in a lot easier. Okay? Now the next thing we're going to do, we're going to put the firewall in. Richard, why don't you help me with the firewall? Put it in from the back. Put it up to the top first. Pull it up to the top. Put a top clamp in. Just like we have there. Then pull the bottom forward. Clamp it. Okay. Now, if you have it all aligned where you want it, Make sure it's like it, like it. Bring it out. Make sure it's flush all the way around. Then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to take your welder and you're going to rosette weld these welds. So and rosette weld means you're going to fill up your spot weld holes. So you're going to weld these in, okay? You're going to spot them in like that. Rosette weld the firewall in. That will put all this into place, okay? The next thing you're going to do is you're going to take the lower extensions and Richard decided to put these on a different way than we show you in the instructions. So the next thing that you do is on right here. Our instructions show you cut them here. And then you're going to put the extension over the top of this to finish off your firewall. Richard wanted to put his on the outside so that's the way we're going to do it in this video. It'll show then in the instructions how to do it the other way. Um, when it's all done without that, it'll go on here, the 
weld this all in. It'll be a nice clean look. After you're done with that, and you get those installed, you're going to want to grind this edge down so it's nice and smooth all the way around. Okay, and then uh, we suggest you weld up here all the way around. Just take your time welding it. Don't get in a big hurry so it'll work. And then grind it down smooth so it's nice. And then we suggest you take the seam sealer from the back side of the firewall, seam seal your firewall to keep the air out of there in case you miss any little holes or anything. Thank you for watching this video. You can see us at AbsoluteSheetMetal.com. We make 1928 to 1959 Chevy and Ford firewalls and floors. Pitching products, AbsoluteSheetMetal.com. Thank you.